Hey, what's good, guys? Welcome to another five minute photography lesson, Vahography Crash Course. Today, we're discussing corporate business headshots, simple setup, camera lens, and maybe one off camera flash. Awesome attorney at law I photographed two days ago. Here's an example of a standard image telling a story, but watch what happens when I tweak it a little bit. Here's the adjustments I made. Okay, standard photo, as you see here, it's good. Adjustments I made in this photo. I went down eye level when I'm photographing this, right? I used props to tell a story. This is a law firm, so I brought in that prop. I used an off-camera flash with a side diffuser, a light modifier, just to fill in that light her left. Here's an example of black and white. Black and white looks great. You can also tweak it a little bit in Photoshop. Like I said, boring photo and an interesting shot, you know, of her doing work and doing her thing. Use props and use the power of your lens. You know, this right here, I'm focusing right on that prop, opening it up wide open. You can use this image for stock photography. Be creative. Tell a story when you're photographing, you know, let's crop it in here. As you see, I'm wide open here, focusing in on the prop use uh, take a few horizontal and vertical shots you never know the perspective you never know what you'll be using this for here's an example of the standard shot on the left but i'm using a different perspective and i'm paying attention to the backdrop and lines i'm using an off-camera flash here i turned off all the office lights and you don't really have to stay in the office go outside take some natural light photographs outside pay attention to your backgrounds simple backgrounds it works casual business pose you know take a few different poses here's an example of a casual business pose take a look at the uh, background perfect example for social media this you can use for social media linkedin facebook whatever here's a shot i took with a portrait lens a wide aperture lens but not shot wide open example if it's a 2.8 lens shoot f4 1.2 2.8 give a nice distance between your subject and the background so you can get uh, subject isolation don't pin them against the wall you want distance between subject and background watch for busy distracting backdrops also deliver a color and black and white version because you never know which one they'll like but let's crop in here set your focus point to the closest eye to you the photographer stop down aperture so both eyes are perfectly sharp now here's an example of a shot taken at a higher level okay i'm taking the shot at a higher level about two steps up you get a different perspective you can get capture that background here i'm using a lens that's not a portrait lens i'm shooting it with a 24 to 70 lenses change the look take a couple lenses with you just so you could change the look here pay attention to the backdrop the lines here i'm incorporating the design of the building the design of the walkway and the lines it adds to the photograph let's crop in here never set aperture wide open do this for sharp photos. Don't don't shoot wide open at 2.8, okay, when you're shooting these kind of portraits. Try to shoot the lowest ISO possible. That doesn't mean you need to shoot at the lowest camera ISO, but, you know, uh, balance out with shutter speed. Make sure you're at 1 200th of a second minimum just so you can eliminate the blur, motion blur. Take the traditional portraits first like i do here traditional business portraits and after that try different things use the door of the office use different surroundings you know you took the traditional shots now just use the environment tell a story what are we shooting here we're shooting a, a, an attorney in our office tell the story with your photograph and then after add your signature touch to the photograph it means it's a business picture but doesn't mean you can't get creative i like to use different angles different backdrops here scout the area for interesting little odds and ends of the building add your touch to the photograph add motion to your photograph add motion add motion it brings emotion. This has to do with your style. You know, I like to have the subject walk and, you know, just look around different poses, add motion. It brings out emotion. What you can do is take a lot of pictures at the sequence and deliver the best pictures. Okay. Don't show your clients the bad ones. Even if you have to take one out of this sequence of 20 shots, take the best one right out and show that to your client and just have fun guys, you know, just have fun with your subject deliver the photographs on time and you'll see that you know they'll be really happy with the product by the way this is law offices of yvette gregorian amazing attorney at law 
personal injury, if you need a lawyer, I'll put the link in the description of our website. Check her out. Amazing services. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like videos like this, go ahead and like and subscribe. Also, if you want more of these kind of lessons, click on this video, that video, and a nice lens review on the left. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Rock and roll.